So there are a few things you're going to need for this tutorial. Uh, first being a hard drive. Uh, I have a 20 gig hard drive. Um, you can really do it with any size. Uh, next you'll need a data transfer cable, an Xbox data transfer cable. All right. Um, uh, and lastly you'll need a computer and obviously an Xbox. But um, you will take the data transfer cable. Um, you can order them for 10 bucks off eBay, which is what I did. Um, and you can take, uh, I mean, it fits up there, just right on top. Let's see here, where's the hole at? There it is. All right. It just pops right up there, all right, just like that. All right. And then uh, um, you'll just have to plug it into the computer, and it works just like a USB um, standard USB flash drive would. And this is where we'll start our computer tutorial. Alright, just to do a little recap, uh, you will need a Xbox data transfer cable, hard drive, and some programs I use. I think it's a little bit easier to use Export 360 over the other Xbox uh, hard drive opening software. Um, I, I don't remember it off the top of my head. I also use Easy Gamer Tag Editor 2.1. Uh, there's some new versions. I haven't really had much experience with them. I haven't used them. Easy Gamer Tag 2.1 accomplishes what I need. Um, another program you'll need is Modio. Uh, Modio is what you're definitely going to need. Um, the other programs you will need, you can you can swap them out with other programs if you can't if you aren't able to download these two with other gamertag editors or hard drive opening softwares uh... to install some of the the programs you'll need winrar it's a program used to open up rar files and extract them to your desktop and install them um, very recommended it's what i use uh... for all my rar, fi RAR files All right, with the hard drive plugged in we're gonna open up export you're going to need to run it as administrator. Okay. You're going to need to open up your hard drive. Go to partition 3, content user profile, saves, etc. Right, it takes a second. Um, if you've never opened up your Xbox hard drive, you'll need to find the one that has all of your saved games. This is how you'll find your user profile if you have more than one. Alright, you're going to need to open up the one that has gamer picks, themes, profile data, etc. Open up the very the 0, 0, 1000 or 10,000. You're going to this is your gamer profile right here. Drag that to your desktop. Okay, we're just going to minimize that. Now we're going to open up Easy Gamer Tag 2.1. You're going to open then make sure your desktop is up, selected, then find your profile, open. Alright, there's the user profile. Alright, we can backspace it out, and we can go to add, we can add random characters, we can add just random word. you can copy your friend's you can copy your friend's gamer tag, and you can be in the lobby. You know, so you have the same gamer tag. Trips people out. Um, let's see here. Let's just make it. Modern Warfare. Okay, we're going to take that. We're going to make it green. Alright. You're going to... I have to save mine as... 8 modded profile because I have 8 modded profiles um, but uh, most likely you'll just have to save it as 0 or 1 if you've never done it before so we're gonna go to save we're gonna save it right to the desktop then ok we're gonna close this out and create the folders right down here ok now we're gonna need to open up Mario 
Okay, now open up this folder. Okay, we got that ready. While we wait for Mario, Mario is always a little slow. <coughs> okay, so now that Mario is open, we're gonna we're gonna drag the profile right over in there. Then we can go ahead and close that out. Then you need to drag your profile that's on your desktop, your original gamer tag, in there. Okay. You're going to need to copy your device ID. If it doesn't match, mine obviously doesn't match, you're going to need to copy it, and then you're going to need to paste it. You're going to need to save the ID set and rehash and resign. I always do it a couple times. All right, we're gonna turn our turn the Xbox on. Okay, as soon as it loads up, we're going to sign out. Yes. Alright, then we're going to start the game. Alright, we're going to skip that. Alright, um... Yes, we would like to find a profile. Let's see here, we're going to go to Modern Warfare 2. Uh, just pick a random one, it doesn't matter. Alright, so we're going to press start. Easily visible. Um, and this stuff really doesn't matter, you can just hit the over button once. Uh, ask me later. Multiplayer. Continue to multiplayer. Now you're going to go to Xbox Live, you're going to have to pick your gamer profile, your Xbox Live gamer profile, then we're going to sign in and it's going to get all of your information and it's going to put it up right here. There's your new modded gamer profile right there and you can um, you can jump in a game and it'll show up in the lobby uh, team deathmatch it's right there in the lobby and it'll show up in the game and that's what it'll show up as your gamer profile